Hey, hello there. This is the first installment of Colin and Eli's channel that reads Twisted Awful uh, Fan Fictions for My Little Pony because Explicit. Cause you're too scared to. And that you read what you won't. So they're too scared to read the stories, but so we're they'll willingly, too. but they'll willingly listen to us read them. Yes, because, because our that voices make will make sense. Because our voices will make love to their ear vaginas. Yeah, so our voices just are just very seductive and sexy and such. Yes. All right. The first story is called <laughs> Super, Super Bucking Narnia Bullshit. Bullshit, and I can't. Oh, it's by Mesa. I, I don't even I know found, what this was. It was like a author. flick of my hand. Seizure. Um, uh, we have not read this story yet, so every reaction we have is real. Uh, it's got four out of five stars on the Pony <coughs> Explicit Archive. Uh, I don't know if that attests to how good it is or otherwise. <laughs> it's probably about three times as long as a normal cloth fake should be. And that's how you get. Yeah. Uh, Google Chrome. Warning. This story is categorized as explicit, meaning it is a clock fic or features gore. By clicking OK, you verify you are of legal age in your jurisdiction to explicit <laughs> materials and agree to the bypass these warnings in the future. OK. <laughs> and if anybody was wondering for so many odd reason, yes, yes this is a Fluttershy on my t-shirt. And yes, we are 18. Wink. Oh, God. Here uh, we go. Are we Super prepared for this, sir? No. <laughs> Never prepared for this. Then let's do it. Oh no. Oh, well, I cuddle with you, of course. Because he's weird. my future boyfriend and stuff. That's how that works. Super bucking Narnia bullshit. Written by Mesa. Prologue. The sun was setting just. <laughs> Wait, over there's a goddamn prologue. That's what it says. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> quick scan through. Let's see. Chapter one. <coughs> chapter two. There's so chapter much. Three. Three chapters plus a prologue. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? Oh, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. We'll get um, there when we get there. Wow. We're gonna be okay. here a while. This might be a two-parter video. You're bobbing your head like you're sucking a penis. No, I'm bobbing my head, yes. <laughs> Shut up. Super bucking Arnia bullshit. Prologue. The sun was setting just over the horizon outside of Ponyville, and the air was slightly humid. An amber sun painted the sky with soft shades of cotton cow candy pink and blue with creamy orange undertones. What? Cow candy? <laughs> Keep going. The sun also caused a new min What the fuck? Can't numinous. Read. Numinous. Okay, then a numinous shiver. Shimmer, yeah. shut up, ho. Across the wet, dim ground. It had recently rained, and the sound of lazy water drops falling through yellow fall tree leaves was in the air. South of Ponyville, there was a large, colorful, filled flower meadow. meadow. This meadow enclosed a wide valley that is rarely visited. So, this Hold on, I need like, to fix myself. This is already, like, way too well written and such for a cop hey, fic. You can already. see our computer. Also, that was incredibly pointless, to my knowledge. <coughs> yep. However, uh... Don't read ahead, because I know you love to. However, this evening, the va this evening, the valley was occupied by two ponies. One was of royalty, and the other a Ponyville filly. What? A gloomy, sulky mist was creeping across the bottom of the valley. It was totally worth it for your reaction. The sapphire vapor abruptly changed during... Nope. Abruptly changed direction behind Princess Celestia and escaped out of the valley. I promise in the future we'll do stuff that we've read before, so I'm not tripping over every other word. Ugh. <laughs> uh, here we go. Ew, Scootaloo exclaimed. That smells. Why do you, Why did you do that? Also, I'm probably not ever going to do voices for anyone. Except for Discord if he ever shows up. Because I do a good Discord. Anyways, Princess Celestia giggled at this and then in her normal playful voice said, Well, Scootaloo, ever since I've become familiar with the term anal, <laughs> it has been hard to control myself. Okay, let's stop here really quick. One, there's no um, the break breather. in paragraph. There's no break in paragraph to say, to... Uh, notify that two people, uh, two different people are speaking, and one did. What just happened? Anal. Did you know what? Just keep reading. Anal is in all caps. I'd like to point out. Eli, stop reading ahead. The sunset <coughs> is now. <coughs> I'll restart. The sunset was now a distant dim light, and the wind had begun to growl. How? God damn it! So you think I'd be able to read an easy four-lettered word? But no, I can't. It's only like nine thirty. What the fuck? Uh, okay, here we go. Celestia's wings rose up as she now increasing... What? 
Oh, as she was now increasing her concentration on Scootaloo. A nail, Scootaloo said with a puzzled expression on her face. She sat down with her front hooves in between her rear hooves. What's a nail? A faint gleam of red in the middle of Princess Celestia's eyes began to grow. Okay. Celestia looked down behind her demonic grin with a gravity, <coughs> almost, <coughs> almost possessed voice. She said, Don't worry. You're about to become a very... Oh, God. You're about to become very familiar with that term. Yeah, I agree. Do not want! Horn. <laughs> This brings a whole new meaning to Molestia. <laughs> Suddenly, a spark and glint of light came off of Celestia's horn. About 20 hooves from behind Scootaloo came to Celestia's... What? Came to... Oh! Okay, I see what it's saying. Hooves is being used as a figure of measurement. About... Shut up, Eli. About 20 hooves from behind Scootaloo came two of Celestia's guards trotting toward her. When Scootaloo heard them, she turned to face them and was about to welcome them. That was a lot of them in a sentence. Uh, when they lifted her into the air by her four hooves. The little foal was surprised as her hooves dangled a hoof off the ground. She looked up at one of the colts and saw his glowing, merciless white eyes. She understood Wait. that they were under Celestia's control. Is, is there any reason, is there any backstory to why they were in this place? Because of super bucking Narnia bullshit. Touche. Celestia, she exclaimed while trying to wiggle out of the colts' grip. What are you doing? Is this some kind of joke? Celestia walked toward her and lowered her head in front of Scootaloo so that their eyes met. No, Scootaloo, you're taking a vacation from Ponyville. Well, I guess I can take a vacation. I need to go tell Rainbow Dash, though, Scootaloo said nervously. Just let me down and wait here, and I'll be back in, say, about an hour or so with my... That wasn't an invitation, Scootaloo. Celestia interrupted her, and her eyes narrowed. Anxiety and confusion rose inside Scootaloo, you were saying? Is this a rape? Probably. We could check really? the tags really quick. Let's just keep reading. <laughs> Princess Celestia moved her face so close to Scootaloo's that their snouts nearly touched, like this. Not touching. Sparkle. Uh, where was I? I was right there. No, I got this. She smiled and then moved her head to the left of Scootaloo's. A madness entered Celestia's eyes as she laid her tongue on the side of Scootaloo's face. In one fluid motion, she slowly began to eat her face. No. She slowly began to look <laughs> upward, determinately... Yep, with, and with delight. Scootaloo looked into her eyes. Celestia's eyes were wide open. In them she saw madness, and they were focused to a non-discernible location in the sky. Celestia let out gasps of pleasure every few seconds. But, 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 the <laughs> Super fucking gnarly <laughs> bullshit, dude! Okay, don't spit on me next time. <coughs> I'm sorry. Scootaloo closed her eyes and whimpered in response. Stop this. What the hey? Yep. What? Celestia's tongue, longer than the average fingers, <coughs> slid over Scootaloo's cheek at a pace only matched by Granny Smith. So wait, what? what? Is that saying, like, really slowly? Like, I guess? I guess. Celestia closed her eyes halfway through the sloth, yep, slothful lick, and thought about how much she was truly enjoying herself. She finished her long, silky tongue treatment and paused for a moment, staring into the sky. She wondered what Scootaloo's reaction was. Celestia hadn't been so immersed in licking Scootaloo's face that any pony could have easily caught her. She looked around the meadow, and seeing no pony, she looked down to see that Scootaloo had closed her eyes. Wait, aren't her guards there? Yes. She, they're under her spell. She, like, brainwashed them, so they're, like, slaves of sorts. Okay. Uh, I know, it's weird. Well, it's super fucking Narnia bullshit. Pretty much. She seemed to be trying to forget the event that had just happened. Celestia felt quite naughty and loved the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> you might be my witness. That is exactly what it said. He's right. <coughs> I'm not even smart enough to make that up. Celestia was smiling, accomplished, until the realization hit her that the meadow wasn't the right place to do this. Yeah, don't say! <laughs> <laughs> the princess turned to Canterlot and focused moderately. There was a spark and a small shine from her horn, and the valley was empty. Nothing but the blue, wispy mist remained floating in the valley. So, let's make this clear, everybody. Celestia is a pedophile. I feel like I should get on Facebook and tell people we're doing this. 
I feel as if you shouldn't because yeah, because then we'd get too sidetracked. Uh, chapter one. Oh my god. Or we are officially in a prologue. A That's stupid. That should have just been a chapter.